Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US markets trade mixed with eight of 11 sectors in the broader index falling into negative territory. The tech heavy Nasdaq set another record close, finishing 0.12% higher. The S&P 500 just tipped into the red, closing down 0.04%, whilst the Dow Jones fell 0.15% on the day. Encouraging inflation data during the week saw the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq ending the week higher by 1.6% and 3.2% respectively. On the economic data front, the University of Michigan's survey of consumers pointed to deteriorating consumer sentiment as it fell to 65.6 in June versus 69.1 in May. Consensus expectations were, were for a reading closer to 71.5. Turning to U.S. sectors, the worst performer was industrials, which closed 1.03% lower. The best performing sector was communications, which closed up 0.56%. In company news, software giant Adobe leaped 14.5% on Friday after delivering strong quarterly results that beat expectations. Declines in Caterpillar and Boeing weighed on the Dow, while Carnival and Norwegian Cruise Lines were the biggest lagards in the S&P 500. Turning to domestic markets, all eyes will be focused on Tuesday's rate decision. The RBA is expected to keep the cash rate unchanged this week as it looks for clearer evidence that price pressures are moving sustainably lower. RBA Governor Michelle Bullock is expected to reiterate that the board is not ruling anything in or out on monetary policy, meaning that rates could go up or down after inflation unexpectedly picked up to 3.6% in April. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% fall. Thank you for listening.